Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy and this is my 37 week pregnancy update. This week baby is 19 inches and about six and a half pounds. I'm officially past the 37 week mark so I can have my home birth if I go into labor. As I said, I had a few tests last week some blood tests which came back really good and also i had my gbs swab which tests for um the group beta group b streptococcus and you just swab down there and i actually came back positive for that which i've never had before in my previous two pregnancies it's just this bacteria that can colonize anybody really and it, it doesn't do anything it's not related to strep throat it doesn't really affect you as like an adult human but um it can cause pretty serious problems pretty rarely does but it can possibly cause serious problems for baby when they come out i would have to get antibiotics when i'm in labor actually i was worried really worried about that when i first read about it i was like oh my gosh i'm not gonna be able to do this at home like i have to get an iv but my midwives can give me an IV, give me my antibiotics. So yeah, I can still do it here. I'm actually trying to get rid of this. So I definitely want to test again. I have an appointment um, in two days. So I'm going to have them test again. I've been like eating kimchi. <laughs> I've been eat, drinking apple cider vinegar, like a couple tablespoons with water every day. I've been taking my probiotics, which I don't know why I wasn't taking my probiotics before. Like I had them, I had been taking them before. And for some reason, like recently, I hadn't been really taking them with my prenatal, which is so stupid, but here we are. So I am now trying to take all of those things, which in theory can help you get rid of this. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna test again in a couple days and then I will have an appointment the following week which, you know, if I don't go into labor before then, I will also ask them if it's all right if we test again. Because I'd prefer not to be taking antibiotics in labor. I mean, it's okay. It's better than the alternative, like the possibilities of the alternative. But I just feel like there's a lot of like really good, um, uh, like your positive biome that your baby can get from coming through your birth canal and everything. And I don't want to take that away from him by taking these antibiotics. In the grand scheme of things, this is not a big deal. Um, people are dealing with much worse. I don't have preeclampsia. I don't have, I don't have to go in for C-section so far, so far all, so far so good. And I can still have my home birth. Baby has been moving around so much. Like he sticks his little foot out on this side of my, like right under my ribs. <laughs> like you can totally tell it's a foot so hard and pointy and it'll just like move it back and forth and little kicks. He can't do really huge kicks anymore because he's pretty crowded in there, but it's just so fun to watch him just like roll over and my whole body, my whole belly will be like bigger on one side and then it just moves over to the other side. So this is like the most amazing thing in the entire world, I swear. Like having an actual human life growing inside you. And so I'm trying to soak up all of that because I know this is like the last time I'm going to be feeling this. And it's sad. It's kind of like, how could, how could I like give up this, this awesome feeling? But I have to remind myself about the rest of pregnancy and how hard it is and how I'm just getting old. And this is the last time I need to be going through first trimester and all of the aches and pains and everything. Like I need to be done, but it's definitely a hard thing to give up. I just did an update last week uh, and I talked about all my symptoms and everything. Nothing's really changed. So if you want to check out that video, I will link it for you guys. For the most part, I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm just really like super excited for the unknown of when this is going to happen, when I'm going to go into labor, how it's going to go. I'm just so curious on how this little guy is going to come about and... I'm trying to just keep that excited feeling and not worry about the parts that I know are really hard. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I've been doing some hypnobirthing class. I've been doing a class and I've also been doing like, I've been reading the book and um, I have these like positive affirmation, like um, soundtracks that I've been listening to and uh, relaxation soundtracks. 
I don't know, that's like hypnobirthing, I feel like is like tricking yourself, which is tough for me, but I'm trying. I'm trying to like embrace it and go into it. And if any of you are preparing for labor, I highly recommend the Bradley method of childbirth. That book, like I didn't take a class in that, but that book, it just explains it so well. And like the visual, the visualization of like what each contraction is doing is so helpful. Like it's a bag of muscles and the contraction is actually like pulling open your cervix like a turtleneck around baby's head. I think envisioning that while the contraction is happening and like seeing the work that that, that, that wave is doing, they, sh they tell you not to call it pain, right? But just being able to visualize what your body is doing while you're feeling that, I feel like is gonna be so helpful because it's like, there's a purpose behind it, right? I'm excited to see how I handle it this time around. Jason will be trying to get some video while I'm in labor, but we are, we did decide to send the boys away for this one. Charlie was at Noah's labor and delivery. He saw his baby brother being born and that was all really cool. But um, I think I need more quiet and just relaxation for this time around. So anyway, guys, I think this video is long enough. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one and I will show you my baby bump right now. Bye.